In this lecture, we will discuss about the application of biotechnology in the agriculture. As we know, agriculture mainly deals with the crops and animals which are the source of food. It's a very big industry as a source of a very high revenue. Scientists use biotechnology and genetic engineering techniques to increase the yield and quantity and quality of the crops to take maximum benefit as a revenue. Biotechnology and genetic engineering give a great revolution in agriculture to increase both quality and quantity. In this lecture, we will discuss about the applications uh, in the agriculture. As agriculture biotechnology is called the green biotechnology and it mainly contributed towards the upliftment, towards the development in the agriculture. The organisms formed after manipulation of genes is now known as the genetically modified organisms like crops, animals, plants, fungi and bacteria. When we modify these organisms by inserting foreign genes, these are called the genetically modified organisms. Genetically modified crops are formed by manipulation of DNA. When we manipulate, when we insert a foreign DNA in the plants, that plant is called genetically modified plant or that crop is called genetically modified crop. That is for uh, the introduction of, that is for a new trade, that is for an, our desired trade, that is for our desired production. These manipulations are done mainly to introduce the traits like the pest resistance, insect resistance and with repeat resistance, uh, it will be discussed in very much detail in the further slides. This is the overview of the use of the biotechnology and genetic engineering in the agriculture. Insect resistance crops, anti-sense DNA technology, flavor saver tomato, very uh, good example, RNA interference, nematode resistance crops, herbicide resistant plants, tolerance to abiotic resistance or stress resistance plants, nutrient supplements addition, uh, production of the herodine using the Rasika napas, biofuel production, plants and animal reproduction, transgenic animals, glowing plants, nitrogen fixation plants, edible vaccines, manufacturing, power fibers and molecular farming. Yes, hurry jo techniques is sare jo uh, list hai ye complete this complete list is actually the application of the biotechnology or genetic engineering in the agriculture we will discuss each application or each uh, step further one by one starting from the insect resistance crops insect resistance crops are also called beauty crops Different types of insects like aphids, leafhoppers, thrips, and many more insects, uh, they attack the crops and cause damage in the crops. To overcome the insects, traditionally the farmer use insecticides. These insecticides become the part of the food and enter in the food chain and ultimately are as a result at the end give harm to the humans or the animals or the living organisms which use that particular type of food. So the Bt crops are the best crops. Bt crops are uh, safe to humans, safe to food, safe to plants and uh, there is no effect of Bt crops on uh, the plants itself. Bt crops, the bacteria that is called the Bacillus thuringiensis. You will read up Nazarara, this is a Bacillus thuringiensis bacteria. This bacteria has a gene that is called the cry gene. So cry gene, both them. why it is called the cry gene? This cry gene is responsible for a protein. It encodes a protein that is called uh, cry protein and this protein is just like the crystal. This is the crystal protein and the toxin is called beauty toxin because of the bacteria of the Bacillus thuringiensis. In Bacillus thuringiensis, a toxin that is called the beauty toxin, this toxin is produced by a gene that is called cry gene. This, when this cry gene expressed, it produces a protein that is just like the crystal. This crystal is crystal like Hey, that's what is called the uh, Bt, uh, this is a cry gene, a cry protein. This pro protein, uh, this toxin uh, is inactive. This is endotoxin and it is inactive in the bacteria. Bacteria is no bacteria in bacteria. When this toxin is ingested by the uh, insect, then the, it forms the proliferation and it paralyzes the insect and insect will die off. The gene responsible fit for this toxin, that is the cry gene, is introduced into the plants. What do we do? We have this gene to plants and incorporate it in plants. When we introduce the gene to plants, 
देन द प्लांट इज नाउ द बीटी क्रॉप वो प्लांट क्या हो जाएगी बीटी क्रॉप हो जाएगी अब उस पूरे प्लांट के पास अब बीटी जीन मौजूद है तब इस बीटी जीन को जब कोई भी इंसेक्ट इसको अटैक करेगा इसको बाइट करेगा तो इंसेक्ट्स के जो माउथ में ओरल केविटी में या उसके गट में चूंकि जो पीएच होती है अल्कलाइन होती है और इसके फॉर द एक्टिवेशन ऑफ दिस जीन द पीएच दैट रिक्वायर इज कॉल्ड द अल्कलाइन पीएच इसकी जो एक्टिवेशन है फॉर द एक्टिवेशन ऑफ दिस टॉक्सिन एक्चुअली इन इन एक्टिव फॉर्म दिस टॉक्सिन इज कॉल्ड प्रोटॉक्सिन इसको प्रोटॉक्सिन बोलते हैं तो अल्कलाइन पीएच में ये क्या हो जाएगी ये एक्टिव हो जाएगी और ये प्रोफ्रेशन काज कर देगी घट ऑफ द काज द प्रोफ्रेशन इन द घट ऑफ द इंसेक्ट एंड द इंसेक्ट अल्टीमेटली डाय वो किल हो जाएगा मर जाएगा तो ये मुख्तफ जो स्टेजेस हैं इंसेक्ट्स की वो इफेक्ट करती हैं आपके प्लांट को इट मे बी द कैटर पिलर देर आर फोर डिफरेंट स्टेजेस एग लार्वी कैटर पिलर और प्यूपा एंड द एडल्ट तो जो लार्वी होता है वो अटैक करता है और जब उस पे इंडोटॉक्स एडजस्ट करती है एडजस्ट करता है तो वो ओरल केवट में एक्टिव हो जाती है उसके जो एंडोथिलियन है उसमें पोर्स बन जाते हैं और वो डाई कर जाता है सो बीटी क्राप्स क्या होते हैं बीटी क्राप्स आर द क्राप्स हैविंग बीटी जीन्स आर बीसीजस थ्यूरिन जेनेसिस आर द क्राई जीन्स जो होते हैं उसमें इंसर्ट होते हैं और वो प्लांट जो है बीटी क्राप्स कहलाती हैं Bisethogenesis, bacterium that produces endotoxin, which is insecticide. Toxin is inactive in the bacteria. This toxin, when taken by the insect, the insect paralyzes and get dies off. The gene responsible for producing endotoxin is isolated and inserted into the genome of the plant. हम इसको plant के genome में insert कर दिया. How it can be inserted? इसको हम detail से discuss करेंगे tissue culture में and the last slide में इसका overview मिलेगा. The plant is genetically modified and the plant is bt crop the bt plants this prevent the plant from the attack of insects this toxin work in alkaline ph in the gut of the caterpillar larvae ph is alkaline it form pores in the epithelium epithelium mein kya ban jayenge pores ban jayenge usme perforation ho jayegi aur wo accumulation ho jayegi wo jo cytoplasmic contents se release release ho jayega leak out ho jayega and the insect or the larvae will die so it protect the plant by the attack of the insect the most important point is most bt toxin are insects group specific insect group specific hote hain the toxin is coded by genes called cry gene for example uh, it is responsible uh, coded by the cry gene jo hum pehle baat kar chuke hain toxin encoded by the cry 1 ac and cry 2 ab control control कार्टन बुलवाम्स ये कार्टन बुलवाम कंट्रोल करती है एंड द क्राइ वन ए बी कंट्रोल द कॉर्न बोर सो वी कैन से इंसेक्ट ग्रुप स्पेसिफिक होती है ये टॉक्सेंस बीटी फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव बीटी कॉटन बीटी ब्रिंजल बीटी सोयाबीन बीटी कॉर्न बीटी राइस बीटी पोटैटोस एंड बीटी टोमेटोज आर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ द बीटी क्रॉप्स हैव अ लुक एट दिस डायग्राम दिस इज द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ द टॉक्सिन फंक्शन इंजेक्शन स्पोर्स प्रोटीन क्रिस्टल्स इट इज इंजेस्टेड then it is activated activated don't sort of jayenge dissolution of the protein crystal then activation sorry dissolution then uh, activation crystal is activated into a toxin form then binding number four step binding to specific receptors and vacuolation of the cytoplasm that is the uh, perforation and the release of cytoplasm contents as a result uh, insect die we have a new type of the bacteria that is called pseudomonas fluorescens it is also genetically modified bacteria used in the agriculture this bacteria bacillus fluorescens uh, fluorescens this is the bacillus fluorescens this bacteria has also engineered or modified by using bt toxin that normally produced by the bacillus thuringiensis jo bacillus thuringiensis ka gene hai wo humne pseudomonas fluorescens mein introduce kar diya why because it is responsible for the uh, to remove or to kill the insects that attack on the roots this toxin can kill certain insects such as the european corn borer they are genetically altered pseudomonas which produce much more toxin than the basis thuringiensis iski jo toxin hai basis thuringiensis se bahut zyada hai can be added to plant seeds isko hum plants ke seeds mein insert kar denge add kar denge and the time will enter the vascular system of the uh, growing plants and it mainly uh, affect the uh, insects that attack on the uh, roots of the plants its toxin is ingested by the feeding borer larvae and kills them but 
इज हार्मलेस टू ह्यूम एंड अदर वार्म ब्लड एनिमल्स जो टॉक्सन या बीटी टॉक्सन है ये एनिमल्स के लिए या ह्यूमन्स के लिए नॉन टॉक्सिक है हार्मलेस है बीटी क्रॉप रिड्यूस द रिलायंस ऑन केमिकल पेस्टिस जो केमिकल पेस्टिसाइड का इस्तेमाल है उसका रिलायंस कम से कम किया क्यों केमिकल पेस्टिसाइड का बहुत डिसएडवांटेज बहुत नुकसान आते हैं वो आपकी फसल के लिए भी नुकसान है वो हमारे फूड चैन के लिए नुकसान है एनिमल्स के लिए भी उसका बहुत इट हैज वेरी बिग लॉस Moving towards the anti-cell technology, this is the second uh, application of the biotechnology in the agriculture for the production of flavor severed tomatoes. We have discussed that flavor severed tomato was first genetically modified uh, FDA approved uh, fruit uh, by the uh, FDA approved uh, fruit and uh, modified by the are better by the genetic engineering techniques. Flavor severed tomatoes, red and light tomatoes. Whenever we visit uh, the uh, Vegetable shop, we always select the um, tomatoes red and tight. ऐसे tomatoes हम खरीदते हैं जो red सुरख भी हों और सख्त भी हों because सुरख में उनकी nutrition efficiency ज़्यादा होती है और tight उसकी life shelf या shelf life ज़्यादा होती है. तो जो सुरख और सरख सख्त जो tomatoes होते हैं उनकी क्या वजह होती है? जब हम tomato को उसके plant पे अगर उसको grow करेंगे for the large large time period, तो उस उसमें क्या होगा? उसमें जो आपका जो टमाटो का जो शेल्फ है जो शेल है सॉरी जो कवर है वो वो डिग्रेड हो जाएगा और जो टोमेटो है वो क्या हो जाएगा सॉफ्ट हो जाएगा टोमेटो विल बिकम सॉफ्ट टू ओवरकम दिस प्रॉब्लम अब व्हाट uh happening what are the factors what enzymes that is responsible to soft to degrade this pectin uh, of the tomato is tomato ki jo pectin hai isko kaun saaf karta hai iske liye ek enzyme hota hai that enzyme is called pg PG, उसको बोलते हैं पोलीग्लेक्टोरिनेस पोलीग्लेक्टोरिनेस एंजाइम इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू डिग्रेड और टू ब्रेक डाउन द पैक्टिन इस पैक्टिन को पोलीग्लेक्टोरिनेस डिग्रेड करते हैं हमने क्या करना है हमने पोलीग्लेक्टोरिनेस को डिग्रेड कर उसको सप्रेस कर देना है जब वो सप्रेस हो जाएगा तो आपका जो टोमेटो फ्रूट पे उसका जो टाइम ज्यादा मिल जाएगा जब पोलीग्लेक्टोरिनेस पीजी सप्रेस होगा उसको टाइम ज्यादा मिलेगा पेक्टिन डिग्रेड नहीं होगी उसका जो कलर है वो भी रेड होगा और उसका जो पेक्टिन है वो भी अपनी नॉर्मल कंडीशन में होगी देन द टोमेटो विल बी रेड एंड टाइट ओके फॉर दिस पर्पस वी सप्रेस द जीन रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर पोलीग्लेक्टोरिनेस बाय यूजिंग सीडीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी हम उसका जो मैसेंजर आर एन है पोलीग्लेक्टोरिनेस का उसका हम सीडीएनए कंप्लीमेंट्री बनाएंगे उसको प्लांट में इंट्रोड्यूस कर देंगे जब प्लांट खुद जो मैसेंजर आर एन बनाएगा पोलीग्लेक्टोरिनेस के लिए उसके साथ जाकर बाइंड कर देगा देन दिस पीजी मैसेंजर आर एन इज नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर द प्रोटीन सेंसेस और द पीजी सेंथेसिस देन द टोमेटो विल बिकम टाइट The 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 antisense DNA is taken up by the cell and binds to the messenger RNA to inhibit translation. Translation को inhibit कर देगा. DNA RNA hybrid is broken down. जो DNA RNA hybrid इसमें दो mechanism है एक आर एन ए आर एन ए बाइंड करते हैं या डीएनए आर एन ए भी बाइंड करते हैं तो जब डीएनए आर एन ए बाइंड करेगा ब्रोकन डाउन बाई द सेल एंजाइम फ्रीइंग द एंटीसेंस डी एन ए टू डिस अनदर मैसेज आने दूसरे मैसेज आने जब बनेगा उसको भी वो डिग्रेड कर देगा तो इट रिड्यूस द पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट लॉस पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट लॉस को ये रिड्यूस करता है कि ज्यादा देर आपका जो शेल्फ लाइफ है टोमेटो की या कोई भी फूड है उसकी ज्यादा हो जाती है दिस इज द एग्जाम डायग्राम ऑफ द फ्लेवर सेवर टोमेटो रेड एंड टाइट टोमेटो दिस इज अ मेकनिज्म जब मैसेज आर एन ए बना जैसे हमारा जीन आया तो उसने भी जो मैसेज आर एन ए कम्प्लीमेंट्री डी एन ए था इसका मैसेज आर एन ए वो दोनों बाइंड कर गए इनएक्टिव हो गया आपका पी जी जीन और इसका जो पैक्टीन है वो डिग्रेड नहीं हुई इसका शेल्फ लाइफ इंक्रीज हो गया सो पी जी वी हैव टू सप्रेस द पी जी पोलिंग लटोजोनेस एंड इंक्रीज द शेल्फ लाइफ ऑफ द टोमेटो RNA interference. RNA interference. Uh, we have discussed in the uh, application of the biotechnology in the um, uh, medicine. RNA interference mainly it interfere with the RNA. Interfere with the RNA. It mainly used to uh, of, to control the nematode that uh, mainly uh, attack on the tobacco plant. As you know, tobacco plant is a cash crop. It uh, give a very high amount of the cash or the a very high uh, amount of the. Uh, it's a, source of the revenue so nematode known as the meladogani incognitia infect the roots of the tobacco plants this reduces the yield of the plant this meladogani attack reduces the plant uh, yield then we uh, prevent this meladogani incognitia by using rna interference strategy 
what is RNA interference strategy? RNA interference strategy was first time it was uh, introduced by Craig Milo and Andrew Fire in 1998. It is actually gene silencing technique. Gene silencing technique. This uses a complementary RNA that degrades messenger RNA of nematode responsible for infection in the roots of tobacco plants. Nematode resistance plant in Koham Bolte is named RNA. Uska complementary binding is RNA ka jo sa sajaka bind kar jayega or usko wo inhibit karega. So mainly double standard RNA uh, we introduce in the cell. Double standard jo RNA hota hai isko double standard RNA. This is the um, uh, crop roots infected by the nematodes and this is the tobacco plants these are tobacco plants and this is a uh, uh, RNA interference technique double strand RNA produce hua. double strand RNA ke introduce karne ke bohut se uh, mechanisms hai. researchers uh, can introduce hum apni marzi ke liye usko apni marzi se introduce kar sakte hain ya sometimes viruses can introduce or make the double strand RNA uh, as a its life cycle next slide mein aapko animation dikhaunga Sometimes integration of the gene uh, next to the endogenous promoter jab koi gene integrate hota hai na usse bhi uh, RNA uh, double strand RNA ban jata hai double strand RNA when formed it is uh, degraded by the dicer dicers ko degrade kar dete then it, it is called small interface RNA ban jata hai isse small interference RNA then with small interference RNA the protein that is called risk protein and uh, the risk and the protein that is called argonaut protein. Ye pura complex ban jata hai. Risk complex of the antisense stand with the risk. Ye antisense joe stand is called risk saat pura complex ban jata hai. Risk stands for RNA induced silencing complex. RNA induced silencing complex with the argonaut protein. Then when this bind with the actual messenger RNA. Ye pura joe complex hai. Ye jab messenger RNA saat bind karega. Toh messenger RNA ka ho jayega. Uski degradation ho jayegi. Then this messenger RNA is not available for the proteins and the nematodes will not infect the uh, tobacco plants next video we will uh, see we will uh, i will show a uh, animation of this rna interference rna interference is a mechanism of silencing gene expression after the gene has been transcribed this interference is due to the presence of antisense rna which is complementary to a specific cellular mRNA. The complementarity between the antisense RNA and the cellular mRNA causes the two molecules to bind to each other. The antisense RNA can come from three sources. First, it can be introduced into cells by researchers. Second, certain viruses may produce antisense RNA as part of their life cycle. And third, the integration of genes into chromosomes next to endogenous gene promoters can sometimes cause the synthesis of the antisense strand of RNA. The current model of RNA interference involves two steps. Creation of an RNA-induced silencing complex, RISC, and then the degradation of cellular mRNA by the RISC. Creation of the RISC occurs when double-stranded RNA is found in the cell. This double-stranded RNA is recognized by an endonuclease known as dicer that cuts it into pieces that are 21 to 23 nucleotides long. An antisense RNA fragment can then associate with proteins to form the RISC. The silencing complex can then associate with cellular messenger RNA that has a region of sequence homology with the RNA fragment in the RISC. The messenger RNA is then degraded. The presence of this rapid degradation mechanism can reduce and even effectively eliminate translation of the messenger RNA for the gene in question, thus interfering with gene expression. So this is the RNA interference. Uh, that the messenger RNA is degraded by the risk uh, along with the uh, argonaut. Yeah, argonaut hua. This uh, complex is formed by the uh, dicer joya usne risk uh, ko jaakar uh, protein sare milke crisp banayi aur ye activate hokar RNA ko degrade kar. Herbicide resistance plants. Herbicide resistance plants uh, when uh, we grow uh, our um, 
crop in the yield with uh, sometime observe along with our main crops our original crop there are small uh, herbs these small herbs for example weeds weeds is a type of the herb hum usko keh sakte hain ye jo unwanted crops hoti hain unwanted jo uh, plants hote hain hamari uh, field mein these are called the herbs in herbs ko kill karna in herbs ko remove karna bahut zaruri hota hai kyunki ye jo nutrition ke liye compete kar rahi hoti hain aur other jo food supplements ke liye compete kar rahi hoti hain that's why we have to remove these herbs in herbs ke liye jab hum iske liye inke liye herbicide istemal karte hain herbicide herbicide are mainly used to uh, control to kill the herbs to jab in pe hum herbicide istemal karte hain to ye herbicide hamare original plant ko bhi attack kar deti hain original plant ko bhi degrade kar deti hain usko bhi affect kar deti hain so we have uh, to tackle to tackle this problem we have to introduce a gene or we have to modify this plant that it will resist this herb herbicide this herbicide ye herbicide is jo hamari herb hai jo hamari weed hai usko to remove kare lekin wo uska hamari plant pe hamari original crop pe koi asar na ho so we uh, develop herbicide resistant plants aise plants jo jin ka herbicide jin par herbicide ka koi effect nahi hota so there are different mechanism of herbicide uh, for the production of herbicide resistant plants uske liye hum uh, kya karte hain transition selective plant breeding hai biotechnological techniques hai uh, in vitro mutant selection at the cell or tissue level in vitro mutant selection is the important technique somatic hybridization technique microspore gametophytic uh, and seed mutagenesis technique and plant plant transformation transfer of cloned genes into susceptible genes we take example of the glyphosate glyphosate is an is a herbicide uh, is a herbicide ye ek herbicide hai jo herb ko kill karti hai ab iska mechanism of action kya hai iska mechanism of action ye hai ki jo hamare paas aromatic amino acids hain amino compounds hain vitamins hain unko uh, unki synthesis ko inhibit karta hai ye glyphosate uh, in the plants to jab hum is herbicide ko istemal karte hain to ye hamare plant पे भी असर करते हैं और हमारे उस पे वीट पे भी असर करते हैं तो इसका जो मेकम ऑफ है वो है स्किमिक एसिड और ये फास्फो इनोल पायरोवेट ये परिकर्स ये बनाते हैं पी ई एस पी एस सॉरी ई एस पी एस ई एस पी ये एक कंपाउंड है ये एक परिकर्सर है ये एक इंजाइम है जो क्या करता है जो आपके जो एरोमेटिक कंपाउंड हैं उस फायसेंसिस को कंट्रोल कर रहा होता है ये ट्रिप्टोफेन सेंसिस वाइटामिन को फैक्टर्स टायरोसिन सेंसिस फिनालिन सेंसिस तो ग्राफस फैट जब आकर ई पी एस पी को एनिबेट कर देगा देन देर इज नो पाथवे ये जो पाथवे आपके पास है ये सिकमिक पाथवे ये इनिबेट हो जाएगा जब ये इनिबेट होगा तो आपके पास aromatic compounds hi banenge aur plant ki jo nutrition deficiency ka shikar hoga aur plants ki growth aur yield effect ho jayegi so what are the strategies ki humne glyphosate जो हर्बिसाइड है इसको यूज करें लेकिन ये हमारे अपने प्लांट पे इफेक्ट ना हो इसकी डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटजीज है नंबर वन स्ट्रेटजीज जो ई पी एस पी दैट इज फाइव एनोल पायरोवाइल स्कीमेट थ्री फास्फेट इनोल पायरो पायरोनाइल स्कीमेट फास्फेट ई पी एस पी बोलते हैं इसको अब इसकी प्रोडक्शन को ज्यादा कर देंगे और प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ई पी एस पी और इंजाइम दर इन एक्टिवेट ग्लाइफेट या ऐसा इंजाइम बना देंगे जो हमारा ग्लायोफास्फेट को जो घर भी साइड है उसको इनएक्टिव कर दे उसको डिग्रेड कर दे या हम ऐसा एक्सी स्ट्रेटी करेंगे एक ऐसा इनकोड इनकोड एन ई एस पी पी एस पी देट इज टॉलरेंस टू ग्लाइफास्फेट या ऐसा ई पी एस पी हम सेंथिसाइज करें इनकोड करें जिस पे ग्लाइफास्फेट का कोई इफेक्ट ही ना हो सो द इफ वी यूज एनी वन ऑफ द टेक्निक देन द प्लांट इज द हर्बिसाइड रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट ग्लाइफास्फेट की एग्जांपल लेंगे बहुत सारे हर्बिसाइड्स हैं ग्लाइफास्फेट है ग्लूफोसिनेट है क्लोरो क्लोरो सल्फोर है ब्रोक्सा ब्रोक्सिनल है और नार फिरोजोन है ये सारे जो हैं डेलापोन है ये सारे हर्बिसाइड्स हैं ये मुख्तलिफ प्लांट्स को इफेक्ट करते हैं इनके अगेन क्या स्ट्रेटी अप्लाई करेंगे आप? आपने इसी चकलाइस से जीन दिया अवर एक्सप्रेशन का इसने क्या किया ईपीएसपी को अल्टर कर दिया ईपीएसपी क्या कर दिया अल्टर कर दिया जब ईपीएसपी अल्टर हो गया तो ग्राफ एसपेर उस पर कोई इफेक्ट नहीं होगा देन देर इज नो इफेक्ट ऑफ ग्राफ एसपेर ऑन द ईपीएसपी देन द प्लांट विल बी द हार्बिसाइड रेजिस्टेंट ठीक है टोबैको प्लांट भी इस्तेमाल करते हैं या एग्रोबेक्टेरियम टू विफेशंस का इस्तेमाल करते हैं एग्रोबेक्टेरियम टू विफेशंस एक बैक्टीरिया है सोइल बैक्टीरिया इसमें प्लांट टीआई प्लाज्मिड होता है इट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट यूज इन द एग्रीकल्चर अवर एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ टू विफेशंस ऑफ ईपीएसपी इससे इस हम क्या कर देंगे ईपीएसपी को अवर एक्सप्रेस कर देंगे देन जब अवर एक्सप्रेस हो जाएगा अगर थोड़ा सा उस पे इफेक्ट हुआ भी लेकिन अवर एक्सप्रेशन है एंजाइम चूंकि ज्यादा है तो पाथवे इंटर इफेक्ट नहीं होगा तो इन सब का इफेक्ट मेनली वी कैन 
uh, introduce the herbicidization plan by different strategies. These are other examples uh, uh, that can alter, that can put, uh, introduce as a herbicide. Tolerance to abiotic stress. There are different types of stress that affect the plant. It's may heat, resist, uh, heat stress, uh, coal, uh, heavy metal stress, mineral nutrition imbalance, salinity, drought, and flooding. These are different types of stress. These stress affect the plants very much highly. These plants are both other affect. करते हैं तो हमने क्या करने हमने प्लांट में ऐसे जीन्स इंट्रोड्यूस करने हैं जो हमारे जो आपके जो प्लांट्स हैं उस पे इन स्ट्रेस का कोई इफेक्ट ना हो हम ऐसा जीन लेके आएंगे जो जिसका हीट पे कोई उस पे हीट का कोई असर ना हो या ऐसा जीन इंट्रोड्यूस करें कोल्ड लविंग प्लांट्स का जिस पे वो उस पे कोल्ड कोई असर ना करे सो व्हेन वी इंट्रोड्यूस ऑल दीस जीन इन द प्लांट्स देन द प्लांट्स विल बी एबायोटिक uh, stress plants and plants can resist the abiotic stress. Uh, for example, uh, when we introduce the halophytes uh, plant gene in the uh, plant, uh, halophytes plant in the plant, then the plant will be the halophyte resistance. Okay. So tolerance resistance plants are the resistance against different types of tolerance. Nutrients supplements. We can uh, produce the plants having a high amount of vitamins, high amount of nutrients, high amount of proteins, high amount of carbohydrates that fulfill the requirements that act as a balanced diet as well. For example, golden rice which contain beta carotene, the far runner for vitamin A. Vitamin A senses ke liye ye beta carotene jo golden rice hum produce karte hain. Uh, uh, jo bandha golden rice use karega no need to take vitamin A. Production of herodine using Barasika lepus. Herodine, it is actually natural occurring anticoagulant. It is mainly found in the Herodol medicinalis. We take the gene from the Herodol medicinalis and introduce this gene in the Barasika lepus. In the Barasika lepus, this is the Barasika lepus. Uh, the, the product that is herodine is accumulated in the seed of the uh, herodina, uh, sorry, uh, seed of the Barasika lepus and it is uh, extracted by the downstream processes processing. Biofuel production, biofuel production, the use of uh, biological and uh, biotechnology for the production of uh, biogas, bioethanol, and bio uh, different types of um, biological uh, useful products. The agriculture industry plays a big role in the biofuel production. Feedstocks for fermentation and production of bio oil, biodiesel, bioethanol, general engineering and enzyme optimization techniques are big, being used to develop improved quality feedstocks for more efficient products. High yielding energy dense crops can result in high value uh, field products high yielding and high uh, energy you know, the energy dense crops are responsible for uh, high value of fuel products another importance and application in the plant and animal reproduction enhancing plant and animal behavior by traditional methods like cross pollination grafting these are the, were the traditional methods cross breeding were the time consuming Biotechnology and biotech advances, advances made changes rapidly and molecular level through our expression or removal of genes or the introduction of foreign genes, it, these changes can be uh, done rapidly without wasting time. Transgenic animals, the animals uh, of our uh, having our desired gene or the foreign gene that type of animals called the transgenic animals. Isolation of primary cell, we isolate the primary cell, then generation of the transgenic cells introduce our desired genes, uh, fusion of the genes with uh, cell with the, our foreign gene with our donor transgenic cells, donor ko fuse kar diya, I mean, if transgenic uh, embryo ban gaya, de reconstructed embryo, now transgenic in vitro embryo and uh, this is transferred into the animal, there is a livestock. Now this animal is a transgenic animal. Hai. It has the gene of our desired product, high production of the meat or high production of the milk, whatever the uh, product we want, we can modify, we can mutate, we can uh, change this organism. These type of organisms are called genetically modified organisms or transgenic organisms, animals. These, these animals mainly used for biological products, vaccine safety testing, toxicity testing, chemotherapeutic research, stem cell production, medicine testing, gene function and disease. These transgenic animals ko hum lab animal ke bhi kar sakte hain other than the useful products. Firefly that has a gene that is called Lucifer's gene. Uh, full time introduced into the plants glow during night. You can see, you can see, yeah, Lucifer's uh, 
जो इंजाइम्स है इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द ग्लो एंड वेन वी इंट्रोड्यूस दिस ल्यूसीफ्रेस जीन इन द प्लांट देन द प्लांट विल स्टार्ट ग्लो यू कैन रीड यू कैन स्टडी अंडर दिस प्लांट so there is no need of the lighting uh, there is no need of the street lights uh, at night time when we introduce the uh, luciferous gene of the firefly into the plants then the plant will start glow at night nitrogen fixation genes are nitrogen fixation plants is as a most important application of uh, biotechnology or genetic engineering in the plants the plants need nitrogen plants cannot uh, use the nitrogen present in the atmosphere in the molecular form plants always use the nitrogen in the form of the ammonium or nitrate so for this purpose plants rely on the nitrogen fixing bacteria nitrogen fixing bacteria fix the nitrogen for the plants when we introduce the nitrogen fixing gene nif gene into the plants then the plants will automatically automatically fix uh, the nitrogen without using the bacteria without and then uh, this reduce the use of the artificial use of the um, uh, uh, fertilizers to the plants edible vaccines edible vaccines produced in plants mainly used for different types of infections when uh, we uh, introduce the gene of interest for uh, uh, specific proteins or whatever we want to uh, for any specific type of infections introduction of the antigenic genes into plants by using different techniques vector system gene gun uh, viruses or electroporation this this plant is transgenic plants with antigenic uh, genes this plant will produce this plant will produce the fruit that fruit have our desired protein this fruit is now used as a vaccine oral vaccine this is called the edible vaccine whatever the plant you select that will be the uh, your desired product that will be your desired uh, food mainly we use bananas potatoes and tomatoes as well oral delivery humans that is oral immunization edible vaccines are very safe these are non toxic and non pathogenic edible vaccines are very low level side effects not cause problems in the individuals with the impaired immune system immune compromised patient with no effect nahi hota long lasting humoral and cellular immunities no contamination to environment and vaccine should be simple should effective and and affordable very uh, cost effective hai itni mehangi bhi nahi hai har banda bardash kar sakta hai jab aap saath uh, fruit khayenge saath aap immune immune hote jayenge infections manufacturing power fibers spider silk is the strongest fiber known to man strongest stronger than the uh, kevlar used to make the bullet proof vest with an advanced tensile power than steel in august 2010 canadian company nexia announces growth of transgenic goats that form spider silk proteins in their milk so spider silk protein can be produced in the milk molecular farming molecular farming is a new concept where therapeutic drugs are produced in farm animals for therapeutic proteins in the goat milk हम थ्रोपोटिक प्रोटीन गोल्ड मिल में यूज करेंगे जिसका मालिकुलर फार्मिंग फॉर एग्जांपल अल्फा एंड एंटी ट्रिप्सिन यूज्ड टू ट्रीट एम्फिसेमा प्रोड्यूस इन द मिल्क ऑफ द शीप अदर प्रोडक्ट्स कैन आल्सो बी प्रोड्यूस इन द मालिकुलर फार्मिंग next animal husbandry has also benefited from recombinant technology one of the early commercial products of recombinant was the human growth hormone by similar method it is possible to manufacture bovine growth hormone when bovine growth hormone is injected into beef cattle it increases their weight gain in dairy cows it also causes 10% increase in milk production when we use bovine growth hormone then it will increase the milk production as well as the weight of the or the meat and the milk production as well this is the diagram for for the transgenic plants how we uh, produce the transgenic plants it will be discussed in the genetic engineering very much detail at the tissue culture very much detail just uh, for the sake of the overview we take the agrobacterium timefaciens ti plasmid into uh, isolate karenge cut karenge usme foreign gene इंसर्ट कर देंगे रिकमेंडेड प्रोजन बन जाएगा इंट्रोड्यूस करेंगे बैक्टीरिया में देन रीइंट्रोड्यूस इनटू द प्लांट एंड देन ग्रो इन द sorry plant culture then it is grow in the field a plant is generated from a cell clone uh, other cells may carry foreign gene and may express in the nutrients so it is our view of the uh, production of the genetically modified crops and modified summary of the whole discussion we had that we have discussed that starting from the insect resistance plants to the uh, animal husbandry it these uh, two slides cover the whole summary that cherry tomatoes high level of anthocyanin in antioxidant tomatoes were engineered with a pigment gene from snapdragons producing uh, five times the purple pigment anthocyanin and greatly increasing the nutrition value uh, endless summer tomatoes long shelf life better flavor gene were manipulated to slow ripening and increase acidity 
राइटिंग को स्लो करेगा एसिडिटी ज्यादा हो जाएगी वी रेजिस्टेंस टू हेड ब्लाइट दैट इज जीन एडेड टू ब्रेक डाउन द सेल वॉल ऑफ द फंगस फ्यूजेरियम प्रोटेक्ट द वीट प्लांट्स फ्रॉम बीइंग अटैक्ड वी इंप्रूव न्यूट्रिशन इंजीनियर विद द जीन टू इंक्रीज द जिंक एंड द आयरन लेवल इन प्लांट्स गोल्डन राइस इंप्रूव न्यूट्रिशन जीन एडेड टू प्रोड्यूस बीटा कैरोटीन ए प्रीकर्सर टू विटामिन ए एम्स टू प्रिवेंट डिफिशिएंसी इन द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज दैट लीड टू द ब्लाइंडनेस सोयाबीन कॉर्न कॉटन हर्बिसाइड रेजिस्टेंस प्लांट्स engineer to withstand chemical herbicides and insect resistance plants gene for herbicide sorry biopesticides called the bt were added to kill insects that feed on the plants agriculture products bt cotton bt cod hum discuss kar chuke hain basis for genesis gene introduce karenge genetically modified tomatoes raspberries jisme hum block kiya pectin degrading enzyme ko anti sense technology dna anti sense technology ko istemal kiya cdna banaya then sumnas fluorescence bacterium has toxin producing genes from insect pathogen basis in genesis ka gene jab humne introduce kiya base uh, sutnas uh, fluorescence mein to wo ab modified ho gaya ab wo toxin produce karna shuru kiya this toxin kills root eating insects that ingest bacteria ab ye root eating insects ko kill kar rahi hai fluorescence uh, sutnas fluorescence only toxin sutnas syringi ice minus bacterium uh, rhizopium meliloti bacterium and round up gryophosphate resistance crops to so, lack normal protein products that initiate undesirable ice formation on the plants modified for enhanced nitrogen fixation and plants have bacterial gene allows you to herbicide on weeds without damaging crops aap ko weeds ko to hamare ke liye crop pe koi effect nahi hoga bovine growth hormone animal husbandry mein porcine growth hormone and transgenic animals bovine growth hormone improve the weight gain and the milk production in cattle produced in by uh, by eflac porcine growth hormone improves the weight gain in swine produced by eflac genetic modification of the animals to produce medically useful products in their milk uh, other food products include the cellulases and that are the enzymes that degrade the cellulose to make animal feed stocks produced by the eflac and the chymogen causes formation of the milk curds in cheese making uh, also produced uh, it is produced by the aspergillus niger there's all about the application of the biotechnology in agriculture uh, there a wide variety of the benefits a variety of techniques are used in the upliftment of the agriculture insect resistance plants uh, pest resistance plants herb res- herbicide resistance plants uh, and flavor uh, severed tomato plants nitrogen fixation and luciferase gene are the pl- glowing plant uh, as food are the feeds uh, nutrient supplement plants these are the different uh, techniques used in the agriculture biotechnology for the upliftment of the agriculture thank you so much